All right, our next question is pretty curious, and we want to know where is the partial of B with respect to T non-zero in the diagram? Okay, exploit this analogy between Faraday's law and Ampere's law to sketch, qualitatively of course, the electric field. All right, so in this particular diagram, we're looking at a special case of Faraday's law, or one of Faraday's experiments rather, where we're moving the magnetic field away from a square loop, and then we're analyzing what's going on. And that's what we see in the diagram. All right, so if we're trying to process this, so let's go ahead and sketch out what we expect to happen. Um, well, first, let's give a qualitative approach to how we reason. The solution here is that uh, d by uh, db over dt is non-zero along the left and right edges of the shaded, re or shaded rectangle. The inward flux through the strip of the left is increasing, and the inward flux through the strip on the right is decreasing. This is analogous to the two current sheets under Ampere's law, with B going to E and mu not I enclosed going to the uh, negative time derivative of flux. The one on the left is like a current flowing out, taking into account the minus sign, so its field is counterclockwise, and the one on the right is like the current flowing in, so the field is clockwise. And now we can kind of sketch going on. So we see that we have the counterclockwise field on the left and the clockwise on the right. And uh, again, this kind of fortifies what we knew intuitively, but nice to see it come together.